These are the faces of three innocent children shot and killed by their own father. Tonight we know they were caught in the middle of a complicated relationship, one that ended first in divorce and then with five people dead. And now we've learned a bit more about one of those victims, the new boyfriend, who may not have had an idea of what was going on. Here's Todd Longer. Thursday saw a community's heartbreak still on display after the murder of four, yes. including three young children. Got this by me all the time. Think about them, don't think about me. It also saw the lone survivor of that murder suicide and the mother of those children, Amanda Simpson, continue to grieve publicly on Facebook. So they're gonna see if they can take the bullet out tomorrow. That's gonna, I'm gonna have to have re rehabilitation on that shoulder. Justin Painter, seen here on Facebook, as whom authorities say walked into this Ponder House Wednesday, shot and killed his three children, wounded Amanda, and killed her boyfriend before turning the gun on himself. Court documents detailing a recent divorce between Justin and Amanda don't indicate any red flags. He's actually the one that filed for it, and the kids primarily lived with him. The judge that signed off said there wasn't a single hearing, meaning it was all handled in mediation. But clearly, something went wrong this week. He told me that he loved me, and I would be back. Something, and he held me so tight. Seth Richardson's family spoke to us from South Carolina. It's just unbelievable. He I was mean, Amanda's boyfriend, but also a son, brother, and father of two himself, who arrived in North Texas to start a new life this week, just hours before his death. If he was walking into that situation, he didn't even stand a chance because that coward went in and shot him when he was sleeping. Devastation for two families mourning losses that seemed so unimaginable only one week ago. Richardson's family will arrive here in North Texas over the weekend. Again, he leaves behind two young daughters himself. As for Amanda Simpson, a GoFundMe page has been set up in her family's memorial honor. Reporting live tonight, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. All right, Todd. A new